Bird watching or birding can be a truly magical experience. It's a wonderful hobby that allows people to connect with nature no matter where they are. Today, I will be sharing some tips and tricks to make the most out of your nature adventures. This is How to Bird, a beginner's guide to bird watching in Southern Alberta. Let's start with tools. You don't technically need anything to bird, but some things can come in handy. Like our first tool, binoculars. Most birds do not like to come near people. So for those times when you want to see a bird up close, but the bird decides to keep distant, binoculars can be very useful. Alternatively, a camera with a telephoto or zoom lens may be a good option. I don't personally use binoculars a lot because my camera does most of the work that binoculars do, with the advantage of capturing what I see to enjoy later. Although the majority prefer to keep their distance from people, some birds are more bold. For this reason, I recommend keeping some bird safe snacks on hand to tempt your feathered friends. Black oil sunflower seeds are adored by songbirds like nuthatches and chickadees. Just a few are enough to bring a dozen little friends to your hand in a matter of minutes. For the corvids, a family of birds that includes crows, ravens, magpies, and jays, I would recommend dried mealworms, which are a nutritionally adequate snack and may earn you some feathered friends. Now would be a good time to note that many corvids are capable of identifying and remembering individual human faces. So even if they don't trust you at first, with a little patience, they will learn you are safe and maybe even bring you some shiny trash presents if you're lucky. My last tool is Merlin Bird ID, created by the Cornell Lab of Ornithology. This app is intuitive and easy to use and has a quiz you can use to determine what species you are looking at based on location, size, and coloring. But it gets better. Merlin has both photo and sound ID. You can take pictures of a bird and it will list possible species. Or for those species heard more often than seen, let Sound ID tell you what species might be making the sound. Did I mention Sound ID can identify multiple calls simultaneously too? Tips from birders. Uh, practice, practice, practice. And so shoot manually. First of all, learn to control your camera. Long lenses with good support, very important for birding in particular. If you come up with eight to 10 five-star photos in a year, you've had a successful year. Supporting your camera, like a monopod or a tripod, if you're using a long lens, definitely. Very important. Where to bird? You're ready to go. You've got all your tools. So where are some good bird watching spots in southern Alberta? Fish Creek Provincial Park lies in the heart of Calgary. Different parts of the park boast different species, including black-capped chickadees, nuthatches, osprey, pheasants, downy and hairy woodpeckers, and a number of hawk species. Chickadees and nuthatches are used to people here and will happily land on an empty, outstretched hand. A favorite for many birders I have spoken to is Frank Lake, a restored wetland six kilometers east of High River, Alberta. At Frank Lake, you can find a number of waterfowl and shorebirds, including black neck stilts, willets, avocets, Canadian geese, American coots, yellow-headed blackbirds, gulls, ducks, swans, and pelicans. Lastly is the Inglewood Bird Sanctuary along the Bow River in Calgary. Both aquatic and forested habitats are found in this migratory bird sanctuary, and many species of waterfowl and songbird can be found in the park throughout the year. Even in the winter, one can find mallards, common golden eyes, mergansers, and even bald eagles. That being said, you don't have to travel far because birds can be found just about anywhere, on every continent, including in urban environments. Magpies are one such underrated urban species. They are one of the most intelligent bird species, and they have iridescent feathers that shift from green to blue to purple. Here is a great blue heron, a truly majestic bird with a wingspan that can exceed six feet. This heron was hanging out along a walking path in the suburbs of Okotoks, Alberta. The birds are all around you, waiting for you to see them. And if you want, there are things you can do to attract them. Birding at home. Bird feeders are one of the easiest ways to attract birds in the city, but not all feeders are the same. Depending on the type of birds you wish to attract, there are different foods and feeders, most of which can be found at hardware and grocery stores. Small songbirds like sparrows, finches, and chickadees enjoy tube feeders full of standard songbird mix with black oil sunflower seeds, a chickadee magnet. Suet feeders, 
which have wider openings than tube feeders and hold seed cakes made with suet, attract woodpeckers including northern flickers, pileated woodpeckers, and hairy and downy woodpeckers. If you want to attract blue jays, peanut feeders are the way to go, but be prepared for their magpie and crow cousins to show up for snacks too. Peanut feeders will also attract squirrels, which may scare away the birds. Now you're ready to go out into the world and bird. You've got your binoculars, bird ID, and black oil sunflower seeds. Go out and enjoy all the fabulous feathered friends waiting for you. Thanks for watching The Yellow Bird. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and comment some of your favorite birding stories. Have a good day. Bye-bye.